Izzy and Michaela Kava. That's going to be a quick line. And the other person I want to point out is Sophie Jake. She will be wearing number five tonight. So that is important to note, keeping your eyes on that first D pairing, Sophie Jakes and Lee Steckline. For Montreal, I'm highlighting Michaela Grant Mentis. She is still looking for her first PWHL goal. And Elaine Truly in net. You know, Anne Renee Debian just finished off from that world championship, and Elaine Truly is ready to step into that starting spot. So does playing in this historic arena from the line. Long shot. What a save by Truly. By Poulin. Feeding it down to Michaela Grant Mentis. What a collision. Take that collision. In the center ice here in the neutral zone, she looks to go into the middle, but Kelly Panic is right there, and Michaela Grammentis holds her head a little bit. Kelly Panic just gets right back up, but Michaela Grammentis headed to the bench, leaving her stick on the ice, holding her head, but she appears to be okay on the bench right now, standing up, moving around, fifth in the league. So they're definitely looking to score on this power play, get their power play special teams going. And this power play is brought to you by Royale Tiger Tau. Power through tough messes. Poulin looking. Ambrose trades passes. Below the goal line, Kristen O'Neill. She scores! Patience pays off. And I know personally, playing against Kristen O'Neill, she can be a pest. And here she is at the side of the net and just tries and tries again at that puck. Digs at it, and that one goes in. Rooney just can't hold on to it. And Montreal is on the board for it first tonight. Their very first power play goal against Minnesota. Trying to pull in. Back they go, trading passes. Down in front, a chance, another. Big stop by Maddie Rooney. O'Neill from below the goal line to Ambrose. Around Stacy one-timer, saved by Maddie Rooney. My goodness. And a great start to the power play here for Montreal. Quick puck movement, putting bodies to the net. They've got this bumper coming out, and Kristen O'Neill gets that, feeds that to Maureen Murphy. That's a quick pass and a quick shot for Maureen Murphy, and that's exactly what they have to do if they want to score on this power play. Poulin looks for room. Shot saved by Rooney. Quick to get it. Stacy again, along with Poulin. Heisey now. Getting in close. Stacy to Ambrose. Off touch. Score! It's Captain Marie-Philippe Boulet on the power play. We see them setting up in zone here. Stacy puts it wide. Bring it back down low. Poulin beats Heisey, but brings it back up top. Ambrose is ready down low, but Poulin is coming across in that slot position, and that's just an easy tap pass for Ambrose and a wide open net for Poulin. And this is a Montreal team that came into this game. Five for 62 on the power play. Deficits before and come back. And then right in front, Julie will cover up that effort. But they're so quick to it, Soroya. And here comes that playoff intensity. Montreal defender with two assists on the night so far, both on the power play. Another chance. Julie turns it aside, makes the stop. It's covered up. Find Stacy down low. Stacy with a wrap around in front. Another chance. That was O'Neill. Relentless as well. Bookbinder. Got a penalty coming. And here comes Coin Schofield with a shot in the glove of Elaine Julie. And the Coin Schofield gets stopped short. Big play by Catherine Daru. Zero shots on goal for that power play. Second power play of the game in quick succession here for Minnesota Jakes. To Zumwinkle, Chuli with the save. Is it back, Kava? Plenty of time here for Minnesota. More than a minute left on their second power play. Kava, Zumwinkle, she scores! See that Minnesota wanted to give Grace Zumwinkle that shot. That was the fourth time she had taken that shot on this power play here. But again, Elaine Chuli just missing that puck sliding across. But Sophie Jakes doing a great job putting that to Michaela Kava right across to Zumwinkle, and Zumwinkle has one tonight. Minnesota sitting second, Montreal behind in third place. And a collision on ice. That was Greco on Murphy. But play on now, Montreal in front! And it's stopped by Maddie Rooney! Oh yeah, we see Marie-Philippe Poulin give that nice little backhand saucer pass 
to Maureen Murphy, but Emma Greco steps up into Mur Murphy's way and is getting the interference call on that one. And then Poulin. And it finds a space. It's Laura Stacy with a one timer. Jakes to Zumwinkle. She's already got a goal. And she keeps it away, sends it around. Points go field again. The point. Jakes shoots. She scores. Just like that, we are all tied up. We see Zumwinkle come around, put that puck to Kendall Coyne behind the net, and Kendall Coyne wants to come out, put that puck up top, and Sophie Jake sees Kelly Panic with her stick on the ice, and she's able to redirect that one and put that one right between Julie. But again, this play led up from Sophie Jake stepping up in the neutral zone here. It's a good play by Minnesota. Now Taylor Heisey looking for their first lead of the game. In front, they score! A massive goal for Minnesota to take the lead. It's their first of the game and a massive first PWHL goal and point for Brooke Bryant. What an awesome play by Taylor Heisey here. Kendall Coyne Schofield notes that Taylor Heisey has that speed, but Heisey delays and finds Brooke Bryant growing, going to the net. Important to note, Kayla Cabot hurt earlier on this shift and goes for the change, so she's not with her line mates, but Brooke Bryant steps right in and goes to the net and puts that one in the back of the net. She plays it out in front. Bookbinder to collect. She gets stopped short by David. But here comes Michaela Cava. She's got points, Schofield, and Sophie Jakes. My goodness, what a save by Chuli. And again, as a defenseman, you have to recognize when you can join the play and when you have to hang back. Michaela Cava does a great job delaying, and Sophie Jakes just tries to put that one pad side on Chuli, and Chuli just kicks that one out. But a great three-on-one rush chance for Minnesota. Sarah LaFour. And Maggie Flaherty looking for some space in front. Sophie Jakes backhand stop by Elaine Julie. Point Schofield to Cava. Looking for a shot. It's turned aside. Montreal still with the shots on goal edge 20 to 24 here. Murphy has Dalton with her in front. Grand Mentis. Oh, she was boys looking for a backhand. And a great and Aaron Ambrose through traffic. Taven battling for it. Krizova. High stick. So that'll. Well, there was the whistle, and there's the aftermath. Krizova is not liking that one, but that was Poulin that came back from behind and put her down. So Taven lays it up and in front. O'Neill backhand. Stopped by Rooney Poulin. What a save, Maddie Rooney. Poulin definitely wishing she put that rebound away. But again, putting that puck to the net, you got Kristen O'Neill high slot. Maddie Rooney making a phenomenal save, kicking her leg out there. And Poulin steps in with that backhand on the rebound. But again, Maddie Rooney shutting the door. To Stacy. O'Neill out to Poulin. Ambrose. Stacy, one timer. She scores! Laura Stacy with the equalizer. Don't count Montreal out. It's a 3-3 game. And this crowd, Daniela, they are going insane. But a great shot from Laura Stacy. That is just a rocket. Chris O'Neill setting it back up. Poulin putting it up top. Ambrose giving it to Stacy right in that sweet spot. And Stacy is excited to tie this game up. A beautiful shot going upstairs on Maddie Rooney as she goes down and slides. To Stacy. Back again. Ambrose, long shot, kicked out. Poulin picks it up far side. Ambrose again. One timer by Poulin. It's up high. Again, coming into this game, neither of these teams had the hottest special teams, but special teams have been the story tonight. And here comes Poulin. She gets in close. Stop short. Big play by Bookbinder. Ambrose to Stacy. Back to O'Neill. She scores. What a goal. Kristen O'Neill. Second of the night.
bookending things here for Montreal. And this is one of those goals that it's proof you just have to put pucks to the net. We see Poulin pick up this puck here and get a good chance for Montreal. We know she can weave in and out of a lot of players here. Just about everyone is able to put that puck back out to the point, settle it down. And again, O'Neal in the high slot here. Just elects to put that puck towards the net. Wasn't the prettiest shot and it just bounces right over Rooney. And Montreal has the lead. Massive three-point regulation win as well.